Hi, hello, welcome to a new video and uh, in this video I will present this game between a uh, Norwegian chess player Arjan Thury and Magnus Carlsen and he is, he seems a um, Norwegian champion and uh, he is the second highest ranked, ranked player from Norway after only current world champion by Magnus uh, Carlsen and um, Aryan played with white pieces and Magnus Carlsen played with knight pieces uh, played with black pieces, sorry um, E4 uh, Magnus started with E4 uh, Aryan started with E4 and Magnus responded with B6 and then Aryan just put his pawns there as priority to control the center and this is one of the popular ways of opening and um, Magnus still doesn't doesn't have a piece in the center and it seems um, <clears throat> but it seems not a big problem because after some moves he can still put his pieces back there I guess and then the bishops maybe also the other bishop to e3 later maybe and, uh, so it seems very positional game and white is a slightly edge but this white always has slight edge because white starts playing um, so it played this prophylactic move a6 And um, a4. Um, so he pl he decided to protect his knight. He plays carefully, I guess. He just wants to wants to play place his pieces to right places so that he won't lose later because he's playing against the world champion. And then. King h1 was played there. So King King h1 is necessary because maybe in the future this g this um, this can be problem. Bishop may attack using this um, using lack of pawn in f. So this is useful in the center, but then King is defenseless. And then he activated his rook to e1, um, and he wants to eat his pawn, but white pushed his instead of exchanging pieces. White pushed his pawn to e5, and then he will. I thought he will take it. He didn't take it, so I think it's okay. But I think the worst thing. In that scenario, I would think I don't want to lose my bishop for knight, but this knight is good also. I'm not sure if he will take this knight, and he will not kill his um, pawn structure. He will not um, cause a big trouble if he take this knight there. So instead, he's mixing, he applied some tactic, I guess. So he thinks. He want, so if white takes this bishop and uh, queen will take and then uh, so queen will activate his queen and then um, I need if he doesn't take the black can take this bishop so at the same time he is forcing white to play and take and then he did what he wants he achieved uh, his goal and now the rook is trading this queen to and uh, in this G uh, in this G column and um, so and he took this pawn and he responded with rook f -bow. I think that so oh when white keeps pressuring adding pressure on this queen and then white rook is in better place but queen is also not at a bad place it's not the ideal but 
another thing is like this knight cannot really help queen to attack so and this bishop has to enter the game to complete the attack but I don't know how it can happen like whether he has to do I don't know what he has to do to achieve this <clears throat> and knight f5 F it's an aggressive move and um, so he cannot play g6 to kick this knight and he doesn't want to waste his move to just play to replace the play a queen to somewhere else just to be g6 just to g6 and there's no much place to go actually so I'm curious what he did in this position and he instead so also he told him that I can attack your, your defenseless pawn and what you're gonna do about it so um, here maybe he can play this knight to h4 but like instinctively I can say that knight h4 is not that bad but in fact knight h4 is um, maybe not very very good because also queen can attack this pawn later maybe so um, I don't know I think there's nothing much to do in this uh, scenario so he and then why decided to take this knight and why thinks that it's a problem and so far the game is ec seems equal but like why does more advantage positionally I guess like pieces are in harmony um, and then this move is threatening this bishop and this rock and then this this pawn at the same time this is a brilliant move I guess so and then he decided to take this pawn obviously so how it uh, so in fact uh, so and then he decided to, to do this exchange now black doesn't have any additional rook and then white is um, actually white rook is very active and the other rook is also quite active there but uh, black is also not in that bad shape because you see also the engine says like it's equal mm, but I think the what make it unequal is like the, the potential of threading the black king I don't know if they end up in end game but yeah that can be a trouble mm, and then <clears throat> G6 he played G6 he think that this is the biggest thread here maybe he can place to there F, F4 I guess but F4 he cannot play so sorry uh, and instead he placed his other rook there that's also smart so that he can maybe play um, F4 later and then Queen A, e, Queen E6 um, so he has to escape his, his rook but he lost his chances of doubling double rook with f2 and he could uh, play f1 too um, that could be better but if he plays like here maybe there's a chance that he will play like e3 or something so that it is maybe a problem um, queen e5 he played queen e5 so I think after this move uh, so it doesn't change much much of the things and we can see the inaccuracy or mistakes but and uh, White played his queen to queen to here. White has an advantage, but it's, the advantage is still not very clear. Like black is defending well, and then he just wants to keep keep his um, pawns closer to the promotion. But it's not the super good strategy, I guess. He has to black has to do something else better than this instead of just um, advancing the pawn and he played his queen to there so one day he can escape to and he can get into the game 
Uh, so they are like waiting each other to make the move. I think it is not a. It is indeed not a blitz game. They play quite um, accurate and slow. And he played the rook e8 to protect his pawn. And this can be a pass pawn, I guess, in the picture. And he played. So as I said before, he could play this f2 move instead of. And it allows him to double rook. Or. And he played his to prevent him to play f4 because at the end game, uh, even sometimes the pawn getting closer to the other diagonal is more important. So uh, pawn closer to the the other well, opposite column is more important than the, than material. So that's why it has to prevent it. And uh, he also played his king. And then, so that was like this, this pawn lacks of protection later. So now he could take this uh, pawn, but after b3, he can take, white can take this pawn too. So that's sort of, after taking this white pawn, and then he can attack the other pieces too. So it's like a5 pawn or something. And then, but still it's better, it's best to protect it if you have no other choice idea or, or plan to checkmate their opponent and knight e6 and um, knight d6 was played later and bishop bishop a6 and um, so <clears throat> I think he wants to I don't know what is the idea of bishop e6 but let's see later so he stopped it whatever you're thinking I'm not gonna allow it and I will um, advance my pawn and they're all playing slowly wow and after this move this is his blunder obviously after that the engine is like oh god you're gonna take his queen or you're gonna checkmate him or something wow and then he find this plan I guess because this move looks very weird and knight f5, knight takes f5, and after that he has check, and he can take this pawn, and the game is over, because there is also that d8 check, and it sort of looks like checkmate. Wow, so that's a brilliant game, and then how Carlson couldn't, couldn't calculate this, so but so instead of so he should instead protect this piece but there's no protect there's no way to protect easily like he could play like rook um, f7 but it make him lose a lot of points maybe there are other ways to defend it but it's a it's a cool win but for him and like taking this pawn and then after and you cannot take with this queen so and and you cannot just play a rook to f7 because the king is there and, and he's dreading your king it's like a, after that like you have to sacrifice your queen and then there's no reason to uh, play more anymore like plus 22 and he still tried <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.